Hi Capricorn, welcome to your quantum reading. I am so sorry about the echo and any noise you might hear. Please be patient with me. I am just kind of transitioning and moving through different spaces, so just be patient for uh, with me for a little bit as I get some things lined up, okay? And as uh, this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, or Rising, and as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers, Cross Watcher. You could be dealing with a um, Capricorn and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless energies. And um, if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, just go down below, click on uh, my website link, and go ahead and subscribe your email to my website. And that way you'll always get an email notification every single time my availability does open up. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the ways that you have supported the channel. Yeah. And let's dive in. Okay. Cap. Alrighty, Rue. Um, I feel as though... Yeah, um, this has been a popular card, and actually this one has too. Pisces had this one, and Aquarius had the Unseen. So, I don't know if you guys are interacting with any way. You could jump over to those readings if you feel like it, but you don't have to. The Warrior. It's telling me that you're... Interesting. I feel like there's a bit of an entanglement going on there. I don't know how accurate this might be. First of all, that's you. Hardworking. <laughs> that is such a Capricorn card. It's like you might have just gone through this crazy, insane transformation. And also, I feel as though you've, all, you've got some other people that are kind of on the same frequency. Like, I don't know if you're interacting with other people. And it could be kind of like this energy of feeling really like tired worn out burnt out type of thing and then we have the unseen okay and in the center the destroyer okay before we're gonna get way into this we have the justice truth balance clarity cause and effect equality and justice okay and then we have the knight of wands unpredictability decisions creativity enthusiasm spirited okay cap what i'm getting from this is there's some type of thing where the unseen is telling me of a reaction that you might be having like the knight of wands can be very spirited high action you know a lot of movement so I don't know if you guys have been through this recently where you kind of started moving a lot, like you had to take action, you had to make something happen, and so there was like a cause and effect to some, some things that had happened. Maybe you started moving, maybe you started to feel really triggered by a particular person, and then we have the destroyer, okay? I know that that energy is really intense, but it's actually a very beneficial energy because what it's going to do usually the way that I see this energy play out is for a bit, you're feeling overly activated by something unseen. And I feel like it's a particular person. Like it could be someone that represents the destroyer. Like to me, to put it in more gentler terms, it would be someone who's a saboteur. Like someone who maybe doesn't have your best interests at heart or doesn't truly want to see you succeed. This actually might be a really powerful catalytic energy because, so I'm going to tell you guys this personally, okay? So when you are picking up something vibrationally, because you have cells, you, you have about 37.2 trillion cells in your body. There are receptors on your cells that actually read vibration, in your environment. So that's why I'm saying there could be something unseen about your environment that you're picking up on and it's actually like activating your nervous system. You're actually like getting sparks of energy because you might be feeling as though someone's like directing something at you or this person is almost even waiting to like 
for you to fail. They wait for you to kind of like spin yourself into circles, which isn't usually what I would get from a Capricorn. But with the warrior card, there's going to become this point where you will see something come back from this overactivation. Once you get to this kind of like surrendering state, is when the magic is going to happen, okay? And I know that it can sound kind of like conflicting, but there's this burnt out kind of, oh my gosh, I can't deal with this anymore type of a frequency is actually really beneficial because you start to just not give an F. And there really is something to that frequency that transforms a lot of things. And so this can be kind of like an overworking or you're doing something harder than it needs to be. So let me grab the cards. Let's see what's going on here. I feel like once you kind of calm down into something and it could have been something that you were kind of running from for a while. Yeah. In fact, that four of cups is perfect the way it comes out. Okay, so, oh wow, okay, wow, the way that popped out. So this very first card, look at that, the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is always talked about as disappointment, apathetic, and interesting that I said you don't give an F. That's kind of the similar frequency of apathy because you're just kind of like, oh, whatever, you know? And then once you kind of give up, in this situation is what I feel like is something's going to change. Something's going to happen here. It could be a coming together between you and another person because we do have the two of cups, okay? So, oh, I love these cards. So, look at... There might be kind of like something happening here. Okay, so we have the queen of swords and the king of cups. Don't get caught up by genders. But I feel as though, Cap, I feel as though you're going to be educating someone. Communication at the very least. But I feel as though some type of communication that happens between you and a particular person this week, um, it feels like it's with this King of Cups character. And it's even more interesting that I mentioned Pisces and Aquarius. Both of the energies are kind of coming into this spread. Oh, hello. Okay. There's going to be someone that you connect with over this next week. Something about your knowledge, I feel like might impress someone. Some Something that you say or something that you know or understand. It's like... That might cause some conflict in the environment. So look how perfect this is coming in with the destroyer. Because I feel as though this can be conflict or jealousy. I feel as though you might be dealing with someone who, like, I won't lie. This could be a person that tries to even come in between you and a particular person. Like, this could be a friendship or this is some type of camaraderie, full on. So I look at the wheel of fortune coming into. There's a change happening between you and a particular person. I am so sorry about the noise, guys. Please, please be patient with me. So, and this, I am going to take this one first. Because it feels like to me that there is like a really significant change happening between you and a person. And it's because of your ability to kind of stay detached. Like there will be someone that maybe tries to trigger you or get an active activation from you. It might be unpredictable. Like this even could be the person they're trying to get you to mirror them. This is a very unpredictable person that kind of like you have had an on and off relationship with. So they might be coming in in some particular way and something about your knowledge like, that's a lot of the thing that I've been seeing lately is certain knowledge that you have, like, the more knowledge, knowledge is power in this situation is what I want to say. Because something about your ability to just kind of, like, not let, let someone get to you or not let someone's energy or their uh, something penetrate yours. And it's from your detached state. 
and your ability to like communicate very clearly and very intellectually like is I feel like it's going to get the attention of someone whoever this king of cups character is and it's like it, it like changes their emotional like there might actually be this change that you see in a particular person that's very emotional very empathic and all of a sudden they shift and change because maybe something the way that you're articulating yourself or the way that you're communicating yourself there's like this whole emphasis on justice being served you know like things that have been unfair things that have been out of balance relationship dynamics when there's like an over like someone's consuming way too much power their ego is just feeding from it those dynamics are going through a significant shift right now and that's what i can see what's happening in this particular connection what however this is lining up for you in work family friendships love relationships that's where i can see it playing out for you okay yeah your advice we have clearing remove energy blockages by clearing out unwanted emotional or material clutter. The destroyer. That's exactly what this energy is coming in to do. So for you guys, I feel like what you might perceive to be as someone like that is maybe not the most positive influence or it even might look like they're trying to straight up destroy you or sabotage you they're actually helping you to remove some type of energy blockage because something about that you do, some type of shift that happens within you with this wheel of fortune is totally going to get you to something that you've been trying to remove, like a, a block that you've been trying to remove for quite a while. This is helping you to do that in a really cool way. Okay. Wow, Cap. So I'm going to dive into the extended. We'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, of course, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Cap, if this is where we leave things, sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.